Hey yo, what up? It's your boy Thin Mints. Uh, Josh is away on vacation with an embarrassing and contagious ass rash he didn't want me to tell you about, so it's just gonna be me today playing Night in the Woods. In the year Granddad died, uh, we had the worst flood since 1998, since there's currently a flood warning in my area right now. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days, and Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories, and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. They went looking for the gods and died in lonely places. On his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window at the old trains. Rattling to somewhere else from somewhere else, he turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, eh? I'm not gonna try to do an awful female voice. When did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more falsely advertised. Why is this train not on a track? It's just floating through the sky. <laughs> Visitors are going to be so let down when they see the actual town. Prepare to be disappointed, ye who enter here. Our town motto. It must be such a relief to paint phone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerk hole took the time to <laughs> actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Garbo and Malloy. Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Mallow? Markets were up today. Way up. I'm looking at a chart and it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs, mostly in the chart sector. Which is notoriously recession proof. Uh my my Garbo, we got a little political there. Gotta get political every now and then. I want one of those internet dates last week. Or I went on one of those internet dates. Oh? Yeah, the internet is a truly giving lover. Okay, hey, any lovely ladies out there looking for an eligible bachelor? Get in touch. That was an awkward pause, and I'll let you know if I find one. Can I turn this off? <laughs> That'd be great. Thank you. I did it with my fucking psychic telekinesis powers, evidently. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 10.45. It's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Spring these days. Just you. And isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? Closed. Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so can I leave? Can I squeeze past you? Nope, just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me a fiasco from the machine. Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Free as in free? Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. How's that door coming? Yeah. State forest up top, regular forest elsewhere else. Woods, woods, woods. One could say, it's a night in the woods. That was awful, I'm sorry. I wonder what they're doing with that phone. Sleeping with it at night. Taking it for walks. Holding it tight. <laughs> talking into it. To nobody. Smooching it so right. God, I hope so. That phone deserves it. They have lime fiasco and he wants a fiasco. That's just a waste. Well then... Grab a lime one for yourself, they're free. Okay, just gotta grab it. F. Very respectful soda.
one free ass cola. <laughs> Yummers. So what are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Strange. When do you think the door is going to be finished? Now. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Alright, he left the TV on. Well, I'm here outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. It's dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. The bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. It makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. Wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night. During the winter when the leaves were down. That's really cool looking. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home, my bed, and my negligent parents. Sounds like a plan. Alright, well, it's night. We're in the woods. Um, that's the game. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry. That wasn't funny. This is some dank nature. <laughs> totally dank, bro. Dank nature and garbage. My fucking favorite. Are these food donkey shopping carts? That's all the way across town. That's dedication. There used to be an old sawmill here, I think. I think the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Shopping bags are little ghosts of grocery stores haunting everywhere else. Oh wow, I heard a toad. And a ghost owl. I bet there are any number of potential witch familiars down here. <laughs> NVM, class of 99. Yeah, sure, this looks safe. Damn it. Oh. Wow. I should have a broken spine at least. <laughs> oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. I am not going to die in this hole. I don't know why I gotta be all action movie dramatic about it. What if I want to die in the hole? Let me do that. Should be a telltale game. Uh, okay. I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle. Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. I wonder what kind of weird animals have babies in there. Dirt possums, night snakes, mystery beasts of all shapes. I remember Kathy Domingo's boyfriend took her here to make out and then break up. And then the next day Kathy pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring at the Fort Lucene Mall. This entire area is so full of romance. Hey, you can still see Mr. Snorkels on this. The octopus. So if I'm an animal, like... What the... Alright. Is this just like public? I'm not gonna ask. Ahoy! I definitely remember reaching the top of this wheel. I definitely remember barely growing since then. <laughs> Looks like the ladder's broken. If I could just get to the top of this thing. Ugh. I could never make it up onto that tree when I was a kid. The number of logs mocked me. The logs and the other kids. <laughs> Let me see if I can visualize this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't stop running while I do this. Not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. Maybe I should just give up without even really trying. Let's try this run jumping one more time. Wait, what do I need to do again? Screw this. I hate this. <laughs> Maybe if I try it with my eyes closed. Oh, I could just have it do it for me. Oh, I didn't even try. Fantastic. I should do this all the time. <laughs> maybe if I get maybe I can get my driver's license now. It's awesome. <laughs> Just gonna prove it to myself. <laughs> it's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. 
Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Rip Granddad. Okay, cool. Your parents forgot you. When you feel out of control, remember you have options. Count to ten, take a deep breath, take a nice walk. That says talk a nice walk. I think they meant take. Alright, practice self. Practice positive self-talk, IPS, identify possible solutions, and smile. Options, it's good. Dr. Hank. Dr. Hank Hill. Selling propane and emotional support. Ow. Hello, it may have been a while. What are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. It's dangerous. Animals have babies in there. Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? No. Oh. It's the worst home welcoming ever. Hey, remember me? Ah, uh, May, you gave me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested by Aunt Mall Cop. Did you say hi to Molly for me? No. <laughs> I say hi for no one. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Aw, oh, May, so good to hear that voice again. <laughs> good night. Dad looks older. Can I make a sandwich? We got Zoro over here. Dad. Pregnant. Uh, Mama May. Pregante. Pomegranate. Uh, cool nightlight. There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever is buried under the house after the cement. It says, I thought the clock opened its eye for a second, and it it kind of tripped me out. <laughs> this thing this thing goes off randomly every month or so. A little wooden duck pops out, makes the weirdest sound, scares Dad half to death every time. I used to joke it was Granddad getting him from beyond the grave. Ugh. Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? Wonder if Dad could move them. Yeah, Dad put him here. I bet Dad should move them. It's only fair. Dad put him here, okay. So should I go ask him to do that? You forgot me, I want you to go move those boxes as payment for your for your sins. Alright, I can't talk to him I guess. I'll just use my fucking telekinesis from earlier. This is cool. I wish I had an attic room. <laughs> that was like a stop motion animation missing a few frames. play some bass, but which song? Oh fuck yeah, Space Dragon? That sounds badass. Wanderer in space, nomad of forbidden place. Alright, Space Dragon. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is the menu theme. Oh fuck, this is hard.
Fuck. Ow, ow. Okay, good. Guitar hero. I am the guitar hero. I can do this. Ow. This is super hard. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it. Now I got it. Thought that was words, but I guess not. Hell yeah. I don't know what that is, but it's cool. Let's get Mad Max Cat. <laughs> this is awesome. Where's the space dragons, though? Very distinct lack of dragons. Come on, no more, please. This is a sweet song, though. What is that? What is that? Is that the Bioshock bird? Can't look. Oh, the there's the dragon. Oh. Dude, I am the best of everything ever. I am the king of space. Space dragons. I really wanted to miss the last note just to fuck with you. Oh, that wasn't the last one, okay. Oh, fuck, damn it. I, I was just caught off guard because I thought it was over. I'm, I'm still the, the god. These colors are super. Sweet. That was awesome. Can I do that again? Can I pick a different song? Well, now I'm just trapped in space. Not bad considering I don't know how to play this song. <laughs> how the hell do you draw a space dragon? <laughs> no idea. Hmm, maybe one more? Uh, but which song? Space dragon. Yeah, okay. Ma oh, no! No, I didn't mean to do that. No, damn it. Can I quit? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll unlock more songs as I go. I was so cute then, we were all so cute then. Cuties, the lot of us. We could have a traveling show, the cute Borowskis. Crap. How is this bird still alive? It... I think it might be made of styrofoam and pipe cleaners, man. It doesn't look like it's moving very much. It was pretty great when Granddad gave me that apple crate of old scary stories. Not sure how they ended up out here. Death comes to Wigglesboro, the fancy corpse, Hellmole Stevenson, Necropus, Book the First, Lady Shark, the Stout on Gallows Hill. Mom has all her grisly books about creepy crimes and sad children on a creepy sad shelf in their room. Oh, looks like one of Mom's books made it out here. And we even ate the horses. One family's horrifying farm life in the 1880s. Jeez, mom. Hey look, some of dad's books got in here. Finches of North America, World of Titmice, The Complete, Grackle, a three volume set, Owls or Owlsome, <laughs> Treacherous, Crane. The hell is a Grackle? <laughs> I wish I could answer that question. <laughs> Honey? Yeah. Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. This is the worst family ever. Every character just sounds like... Me. Hi, Mom. Welcome home. Uh, thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry we mixed up the day you were coming back. It was such short notice. It's okay. May, honey. Yeah. Is everything okay? What do you mean? Did something happen? I just needed to come home. 
Well, I think you can understand my worry. That's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. You can tell me if something happened. I'm fine, really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, it's okay. Thanks. I bet you your old friends will be happy to see you. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, Greg's working at the Snack Falcon up in town center west by the Click Clack. We have a Snack Falcon. I think I'll say hey. Have a good time out there. Lots to explore and see what's changed. I will. Just watch out for all the... I thought that said watch out for the aliens that... <laughs> okay. It wouldn't be fall and possum spring without aliens. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. Make sure you have your your things ready for the great assimilation of the ones beyond. You're gonna take us all to Venus. Home again. Kill, kill, kill. FBI freeze. Oh. Are you the aliens? All the road work crammed in before winter makes like half the town inaccessible. That's code word for we didn't want to make the rest of the town. Unless you want to walk the long way around for like 20 minutes. Oh, never mind. Maybe I can do that. Which I mean, no. Alright, never mind. Are you Greg's dad? Can I jump over them? This is bullshit. Worst game ever. I remember the time in ninth grade when I was when I snuck out and could see into Tom Bramwell's bedroom. <laughs> okay. That's a little odd. Yep, that sure did happen. Alright, good for you. Don't be uh don't be peeping on Tom though. Anything else up here? No? Okay, well, <laughs> I think I'm going to cut this here. Oh, wait, hang on. Hey, Mr. Twigmire. May, is that you? Sure is. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, <laughs> it looks like May. Bet it smells like May. I have a smell. When you were a kid, Susan used to call you a little dirt ball. I was a dirt ball. You still are a dirt ball. Cradle to grave, 100% dirt ball. That's the spirit. <laughs> See you around, Mr. Twigmire. What a good guy. Okay. Please don't be smelling me, though. That's a little bit strange. Alright, well. Thanks for watching, ladies and germs. I don't know how to end this, so I'm just gonna attack this squirrel.